<clears throat> All right. Hello everyone. So today I am going to be using the Wish Touch. I think these are Touch Cool, but or Touch New or something like that. Um, I also think they go by the name Touch Five. So they go by a couple of different names on Wish, but the these 48 piece alcohol based markers. All right, and it comes into an, in a nice, neat little bag for you to keep markers when you're on the go and want to draw. I don't know. Anyways, because I, I was just sorry, I had paused there because I was thinking ah, I probably wouldn't bring my alcohol-based markers on the go because one of these days my markers will just roll off the desk and I'll never find them again, and that would really suck. So if I'm on the go, I don't want to lose my markers even if I have a lot, right? But anyways, so I already did a swatch guard on them because that's what I did the first time I got them. So, move that to the side. Here is my nice little swatch card. I don't know what the numbers correspond to. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know why I have a random one right here. I think I, was mess I messed up on somewhere. I don't know. But, nice little convenient swatch card I use for myself. I keep it as simple as possible because I don't have time to make things complicated in my life. But they are, you know, your standard alcohol based markers. Um, you know, you got your nice little barrel. And let's see, where's the name? There it is. Oh, that's cool. All right, you have your nice little bullet point with the gray to indicate the bullet point. All right, and you have everyone's favorite side the chisel tip. Right. Um, so, I don't know if I mentioned it, the speed drawing that I will be demonstrating with this marker is actually also a chisel tip challenge, which was, re oh, which was really fun, and, yeah. but one of the things I want you guys to notice on these markers is they're super, super nice and juicy. Um, they do have a really strong alcohol smell to so like not like drinking alcohol like rubbing alcohol right you know your regular alcohol based markers and how strong they are well this is like five times as bad um i actually got a huge headache using these so if you're really sensitive to strong smells yeah you're gonna maybe have some problems with these because they it, it was bad and unfortunately the picture I chose to do was huge so it even took like it, it, it yeah it was hard it took a toll on me because I was like oh my gosh like having to sit here and smell these this whole time was bad so just heads up if you were interested in these markers but you're super sensitive to smells right um, along with that I the paper that I chose and I'll, I'll actually show it once the speed painting comes along and kind of doing a quick voiceover but the paper that I had chosen for this ended up not being the right paper for it um, I ended up using these the Bindfang commercial art paper I I personally really like them because they're really like thin paper that actually surprisingly holds marker really well it's just not the best for alcohol based markers I think because what happens is the inks want like to sit on top which makes it even worse when you have really strong smelling inks right but it's 100% rag translucent paper and only reason why I got this was because it was on clearance so look at this beautiful little price tag oh my gosh love it $4.97 right so on clearance oh there you go oh my gosh I no wonder it was so blurry. Um, it's apparently excellent for blending colors and building tones, which it was, but it made, like the inks made it really sticky. Weirdly, it was really sticky. Okay. So I think this paper would actually be really great if I used water-based markers instead of like alcohol-based markers and see how well that blends. Right, so I have, definitely have to try that another day, another video. But let's move on to the speed painting, and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, do I'll do a quick voiceover, just explaining the picture real fast in a second. All right, speed painting time. 
All right, voiceover Anne here, and I totally apologize for being so sniffly in my intro. I didn't realize how bad it was. I was having some really bad allergies. Anyways, so this picture is my chisel tip challenge picture, which it wasn't planned to be, but you know, when I started, I was like, oh, I actually kind of wanted it to be. Anyways, I really just wanted to draw some random islands in the sky sort of vibe. I, this isn't anything serious. It was just... I wanted to do the picture and I didn't really care enough for what it looked like. Anyways, I kind of showed you where it got sticky a little bit and then I was I was trying to figure that out. I guess my camera turned off and I didn't realize until after I drew all the islands or I mean colored all the islands. So I totally apologize for that. Anyways, either way, it was basically the same process as that first one, so it was boring anyways, right? Um, but yeah, so it was super sticky. I don't know why. Um, I just guess it's probably how the marker layered on. Anyways, so right now I'm just designing. Sorry if the quality is kind of bad. I'm actually getting a ring light for my camera. So it won't be so shady because my, my light source I have to put on the side because that's the only place I can actually fit it. So it, I get I get a little cast shadows. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. I did fully use a chisel tip for all of it. I didn't cheat. I actually, with this the way the picture was, it was actually easier to use a chisel tip. Which, like I said, it was I, I did not plan it to be a chisel tip challenge, but I'm kind of glad I did. Okay. Have fun. I'm going to put a little nice music now and I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed drawing.